We have this crisis uh, on our borders. It's true, over 50,000 kids have come here and oftentimes without their parents. It must have been a perilous trip. We don't quite know what to do with them, they're undocumented. Uh, so we don't want to just keep them in the areas where they've just crossed the border, there's not enough space. So we're considering uh, different places like parts of Maryland. And so one uh, particular place was being considered in Maryland and uh, it got uh, some graffiti, it was spray paint on the building that says no illegals here. Uh, no undocumented Democrats. Now, of course, they're not Democrats, they're not citizens, they're not anything. That's the issue at hand here. Uh, but once that graffiti was put on there, Republican politicians jumped in and were very ready to back that up. Now, of course, if Occupy had done that kind of graffiti, my guess is they would say, oh, look at these radical leftists, you can't listen to them. Instead, of course, the entire state of Maryland is listening to these guys. It's an Army Reserve warehouse in Westminster, by the way. Uh, Republicans, Justin Reddy and uh, Andy Harris, all uh, Maryland politicians jump in and say, no way, we can't have this, uh, these undocumented kids in Maryland. And then uh, we have um, Carroll Commissioner Richard Rothschild says, this will not become a repository for Obama's failed immigration policies. Well, uh, lucky for Maryland, their uh, governor is not just a Democrat. But he's a guy he, who's thinking of uh, running against yes, Hillary Clinton in the primaries. And now he's actually a fairly conservative, centrist Democrat for what that's worth. And it's not worth much, it just means he's a corporatist Democrat. Uh, but unfortunately, Hillary Clinton is so to the right that there's no room on the right. So if you're gonna run against Hillary Clinton, you gotta run on the left. So now Martin O'Malley has to pretend that he's on the left. So he says, oh my God, about this situation with the kids, the immigrant kids, he says, deporting the children detained at the border would be sending them to a certain death. Political quotes Martin O'Malley is saying, certain death. So man, woof, he's so far left on this, he says, no way you should deport them. So well, lucky for him, he got on the phone with the White House and he's talking to Cecilia Munoz, who's the domestic policy director there, and she says, "Oh, that's great because we have a place in Westminster, Maryland we were thinking of bringing the kids to. Political reports, but before they hung up, O'Malley told Munoz not to send any of the children to the facility in Westminster, Maryland, that the White House was looking at. In other words, ah, oh, we gotta keep them here, just not in my state, not in my state, no way, the Republicans will yell at me. It, sending them back would be near certain death, but if you're gonna bring them to Maryland, I don't know, send them back, do whatever you gotta do, because they're not welcome here. Martin O'Malley, running to the left as a progressive. Yeah, good luck, good luck, Martin.